It's the Celebrity MasterChef final. I have put absolutely everything into this competition. Everything. These celebrities are all passionate about food. I'm not going to give up. I will fight right to the very end for this. We're looking for that exceptional cooking star. Someone who's more than just a good home cook. Someone with that extra something special. This is it. Winner takes all. It's Judgment Day. Only one of these three outstanding cooks can be crowned Celebrity Master Chef. It means everything to be in the final. It, it truly does. To go home as Master Chef champion would just crown off an amazing journey for me. I don't want to walk away a loser. I want to try and win. I never thought I'd get to the final of Master Chef ever if I won. I would be shocked, stunned, and really proud of myself. Really proud. I'm a little bit nervous, but if things go well today, there's no reason why I can't win. You know, it'd be great to go away with the title. These three have completely worked their socks off. <laughs> We've watched them battle their way through heat after heat, giving everything they've got. Go, go, go! Woo! Let's not panic! Thank you very much indeed. Come on! They said perfection. I can't believe that. This is it. Three absolutely wonderful cooks, the last three courses on MasterChef, and then you and I will crown one of these champions. Let the best person win. I just want to show my, my passion in my food and my improvement. I'm ready to show them what I can do. I, I just want to go for it today. Every single thing I've learned, every comment, every feeling, every success comes to this point. So it's very, very nerve-wracking. I know that as soon as we walk through those doors, I've got two hours to show them that I've learned so much over this last few weeks. I really, really want to win. This is it, isn't it? Each of you is up against two very talented people. You are going to have to cook like angels. Three brilliant cooks, and at the end of this, we will have ourselves one MasterChef champion. Three courses, two hours. Let's cook. Who's got that touch? Who's got the nerve to deliver three absolutely stunning, stunning dishes? Today's performance has to be awe-inspiring. And for me, that's what's so exciting. Jorn came into this competition as the most inexperienced. He learns from his mistakes, and by doing that, he just gets better and better. This is delicious. It really is. It's lovely. That dish is really what you wish you could uh, cook in your own restaurant. But his lack of experience has often caused disasters. Rice noodles for a couple of hours just wrong. It's an unusual, not very successful, amalgamation of flavors. If anybody 
has come a distance in this competition, it's Ewan. It's whether he has learned enough to now serve up three MasterChef winning dishes. This has been one of the hardest things I've ever tried to achieve in my life. I truly have given this my heart, my soul. I, I want it so bad, I don't want to go home a loser. You and your three dishes today are? I've gone for a starter, which is a Thai uh, prawn soup. My main course, red mullet, sea bass and scallop on a bed of Mediterranean vegetables with a uh, tomato salsa around the outside. And then for the dessert, it's an eaten mess. I want you both to, you know, say that we can cook. How many times have you practiced these dishes, Ewan? Uh, about 120 times in my mind. You have actually not cooked these three dishes complete, have you? Um, so far, I haven't really practiced and I've seemed to done all right. All I can do is my best. Uh, I'm gonna do that for you. Well, your best has been good enough so far. Thank you. You've never cooked any of these three dishes ever before. That's extraordinary. I'm sure if anyone can do it, he can do it. I've just got to keep on my toes. Fear is a good thing. You've just got to use it to your advantage. Just take my time and just pray that everything's going in my direction tonight. You've had 20 minutes. 20 minutes gone. Now, Jane has got a great talent, a really good touch, fantastic palate. She has served up some sublime dishes. Your flavours are bang on. <gasps> that is a triumph. <laughs> that is an absolute triumph. But sometimes Jane finds the pressure overwhelming. I'm actually getting a bit stressed now. I'm starting to feel like I'm going to cry. And her food can suffer. Didn't quite make it today, did you? The competition has meant so much to me. It really has. I've given it my all. Jane has got to come in here today. She's got to focus and she's got to hold her nerve. She has to believe that she can do it if she wants to win really grown in confidence as a cook. And now I have to put every single thing I've learned into my three dishes. I've got one chance. So it has to be right. Today we have uh, scallops served on an apple puree with walnut oil with some apple batons. Then veal uh, on a bed of red chard with truffle potatoes. And then for pudding we have Lavender panna cotta with violet. <laughs> very nice. Very, very nice. I want to present today restaurant quality food. It's got to look beautiful and you've got to like have the biggest smile on your face when you eat it. She has nowhere to hide with those dishes. They have to taste beautiful, they've got to look beautiful. She's promising a lot. Can she deliver? I really, really, really want to do myself justice today. That's what I want. And I really want to cook with every single thing I've learned and really from my heart. It would mean a lot if I won it. It would be lovely. You have only 30 minutes left. 30 minutes. Wendy came in this competition, the most technical of cooks. She has cooked for you and I some of the most extraordinary food. Throughout the competition, Wendy has consistently impressed with her natural cooking skill. Wow. It's just fantastic. That's just lovely. But sometimes her flavours have let her down. As a dish, I, I feel as though it can probably pack a bit more of a punch. I'd eat it, I wouldn't order another one. The competition has brought out my competitiveness. It's brought the emotional side out in me, and that's what I've been shocked with the most. It really has just been an amazing journey. She has the ability to blow the other two out of the water. 
If she draws upon her knowledge, she'll deliver very good food. Wendy, what are your dishes? I am doing glazed goat's cheese on a caramelised beetroot puree with thyme-roasted baby beets. Then roast turbot with a lobster, tarragon and tomato vinaigrette. And pudding, Wendy? We're doing chocolate bread and butter pudding with Armagnac prunes and vanilla cream. The main one that I really want to get absolutely spot on is the main course. And uh, how much would you love to win this? It would make my year. I could die happy, to be honest. She has got some interesting combinations there. I don't know right now whether they'll be successful, but I want to try them. The competition means so much because I know how much I put into this. And um, it would mean a lot if they said my name. Really, really. I'd love to say Wendy. 15 minutes left. 15 minutes. You should be getting the food on the plates. You've got five minutes left. Five minutes. Two minutes, guys. Two minutes. That's it. Time's up. That's it. Ewan is risking the title on dishes he's never made before, but has he got the skill to deliver? For starter, he's made a spicy Thai prawn soup with straw mushrooms, chilli, lemongrass and ginger. For me, that is what good Asian food's all about. Good amount of chilli, makes your lips tingle, sourness, saltiness, wonderful flavour of the prawns, and this wonderful, wonderful broth. It's a joy. What? The flavours keep on coming. That is lovely. His main course is pan-fried sea bream, red mullet and scallop on roasted Mediterranean vegetables with a tomato salsa. There's really a lot going on there. Very difficult to present this in a way that's not going to make it look big and scruffy. I get the flavours very clearly of sweet tomato and I've got meaty fish, well seasoned. I think that is a lovely, big, flavoursome plate of food. I think the idea of rich, meaty fish against sweet vegetables is a really, really good one. But I can taste in that dish, this is very rushed. Some of the vegetables aren't cooked enough, they're just a bit too crunchy, and the sauce doesn't have enough seasoning to it. His pudding is eaten mess, a combination of strawberry, cream and meringue with wild strawberry liqueur. It does exactly what it should do. Sweet cream, chewy meringue, wonderful flavour of the strawberries. The thing that really makes it is that liqueur making it a grown-up dessert. It's beautiful. There is the crunch and goo of meringue. That's good. I also love that cream of wild strawberry liqueur. Yeah, I really like that. I like that a lot. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Thank you. Has Jane held her nerve long enough to showcase her talent? 
Her starter is seared scallops on apple puree with a ground walnut sauce and fresh herbs. It looks really good. This wonderful sort of salty walnut, and then apple, sour, sharp, then the scallop comes in. Everything's seasoned really well, everything cooked really well. It is stunning. That's what I call food. The apple is sharp and in comes that sweet scallop that is cooked to absolute perfection and you finish on the almost bitter nut. Yeah, it tastes just as good as it looks. Oh, well done, well done. Her main course is pan-fried veal on a bed of baby red chard with truffle potatoes and a veal jus. Beautifully cooked veal. I love the flavour of those potatoes. I think it's, it is high-end cooking. It just needs more of the sauce to really make it come alive. Well cooked, well done. I like the dish a lot. Those potatoes are soft, it's just a little bit of give. I love the flavours of the veal and the slight truffle running through those potatoes. That is a triumph. That's a lovely dish. For pudding, she's made a lavender panna cotta decorated with crystallised violets. It's lovely. It fills your mouth with flavour. The little candied bits on the top as well give it a tiny little bit of crunch. Very, very good. The texture is absolutely perfect. Smooth, almost like good marshmallow. I think it looks refined. I think it's elegant. Beautiful. Has Wendy successfully managed to pack flavour into her dishes? To begin with, she's made baked goat's cheese on beetroot puree and pea shoots with thyme roasted baby beetroot accompanied by soda bread. That's a very, very big starter. I think that's absolutely delightful. It's that deepness of that cheese against the sweetness of the beetroot. And bringing that thyme and those little herbs in as well is, is, is making it lovely. Good start. Thank you. Rich goat's cheese, sweet earthy beetroots, lovely crunch of those pea shoots, which really gives you a freshness in your mouth. I think it tastes great. I think it's a really lovely dish. Her main course is roast turbot with lobster, served on mashed potato and green beans, with a lobster sauce and vinaigrette. The sauce, with those little chunks of lobster, is stunning. The richness of that against the really wonderful, potent turbot is beautiful. It just needs a bit more seasoning in that mash so it matches the strength of the sauce, the strength of that fish. Oh, God, that is lovely. And it's complex because it starts off and it's, it's vinegary. And then you start getting down on the fish, which is meaty, and then you get the lobster flavour, and then you finish with that beautiful, almost caramel, really rich sauce. I think that is exquisite. To finish, she's made chocolate bread and butter pudding with prunes soaked in armagnac and vanilla cream. Sweet really concentrated flavour of those prunes soaked in armagnac. Delicious. With that vanilla cream, beautiful, and then the texture of that soft bread and butter pudding holding on together. 
and then right towards the end, the chocolate takes over completely, and it seems to rob it of its beauty, which is a real... Mm. It's sticky, it's gooey. The flavour is that boozy prune, and it's a lovely, warming, warming flavour. It's big, but uh, I'd happily scoff the lot. What a fantastic finale to a very, very tough competition. Off you go. The food today, all round, was fantastic. Cooking at this level, it's quite incredible. Quite incredible, when you consider these are amateurs. Ewan's food really made me smile. Big, gutsy, chilli hot, prawny soup, well cooked, really good. The flavours came in waves. Very good, very, very good. The main course, I like the flavours. Tomato, Mediterranean vegetables and fish but the tomato sauce just didn't deliver. Some of the vegetables weren't cooked properly. Really disappointing, because the concept is a good one. The eaten mess made his own meringue, gave it a really big grown up flavor with that liqueur of wild strawberries, and he made it look good. It shows how far he's come. If I don't win, I will be kicking myself that I didn't take more time over that main course. But where I'm proud is just that dessert. They loved it. That brings a smile to my face. Wow, Jane's food today. All three dishes looked stunning. Those scallops on that apple puree was just delicious. It looked like it should be photographed for a magazine. Beautiful scallops and just those little touches of herb just floating in and out. It was a beautiful, beautiful start to the meal. The veal cooked perfectly, the potatoes soft, rich with the truffle, fragrant before it even hit your palate. But all I wanted was some sticky sauce to hold the thing together. She didn't put enough on. But, John, I mean, it looked elegant and it tasted lovely. The dessert was made perfectly. Smooth, rich cream. It was delicious. I thought it was accomplished and different. And the presentation of it actually uh, took my breath away. I was really quite emotional when when they were so complimentary about the food. Because, you know, when you really care about something and you've really sort of... You want to produce food at that level and you manage to, to do it, I felt pleased and proud. Wendy starter was big, but it's got finesse. She cooked those little baby beetroots with thyme. My mouth's still watering now, thinking about it. sticky cheese and then all the juice from that lovely beetroot. Texturally, the whole thing was a delight. Delivered on all levels and just wonderful to taste. That fish, that fish blew me away. Rich bits of lobster, wonderful vinaigrette. The mashed potato was slightly under-seasoned, but the dish, I think, was really good. They loved the main, and that was the one I'd said all along today. I really want them to like this main course, and they loved it, which was great. The dessert, I really appreciate the skill. Classic French Armagnac rich prunes and vanilla cream works. But do we need the, the chocolate in the bread and butter pudding? Chocolate was inoffensive. It was about the prunes, those boozy prunes, and the vanilla cream took the edge off the booze. Nice. I'm blown away by the stand of the celebrities. I really am. I think all three of them have worked their socks off. I'm really proud of them. How these guys have developed is, is quite incredible. To think that Jane can produce a dish as technically brilliant as that scallop is unbelievable. I really like Wendy's food. I like the style of it because it's her style. It's generous, it's big but it's got finesse. It certainly is bursting full of flavour. I've never seen such a novice cook learn at such a rate before, ever. For that guy to be cooking like that, John is nothing short of mind-blowing. It's an incredible experience to go through.
when I started. I never thought I could produce food like that. I've come a long way. Whether that's good enough for the title, you know, you just don't know. I've given MasterChef everything. From the person who came through these doors at the beginning of this programme, I'm going home a different man, without a doubt. I so want to win, though. I truly do. I've loved it. I've really had the best time. Whether I've done enough, I, I hope I have. Yeah, I'd love to be MasterChef champion. They are, all three of them, truly gifted. This is a tough one. celebrity MasterChef champion, Jane. experience it's been brilliant I'll just take on board everything that everybody said and go away and just carry on and cooking and enjoying my cooking gutted I'm really gutted to not get the trophy is heartbreaking but listen it's been a wicked journey I will never go back to cooking how I was before it would have just been even nicer to hear the champion is Ewan MasterChef competition, you need someone to deliver such a standard that it just blows you away. Jane was that cook today. Jane's food was sophisticated and just beautiful. Not just in the way it looked, but the flavours it delivered. Extraordinary. I only went and won it though. Congratulations. Thank job. you. Thank you. Master Chef Champion. Oh, thank you so much. Well Am I dreaming this? Because I have been dreaming about this for a long time. And I've been cooking in my sleep. So this could be a dream right now. But this feels quite heavy, so I'm hoping it's not a dream because it's quite a nice feeling to be the champion of Master Chef 2009. <sighs> wow.